Hello. In the last video, we learned about the reduced, reduced form equations and structural form equations. It's not always easy to reduce them and find the coefficients. And in exams, if you want to know whether the equation is identified, then we have to consider one condition that is order condition. Using these order conditions, you can instantly solve this question and answer the multiple choice questions. Okay, so let's learn about the rules. I hope you have gone through the previous video to learn, know about the variable types. Now, in this rule, let's understand first the number that is K, the capital letter K denotes the total number of variables, total number of variables in the model. Okay. In the model. Now, M, M is the particular equation that you are talking about. Particular equation to be considered. Okay. So, if you are talking about equation number 1, then that equation number 1 is the particular equation. And we want to know the number of variables in that, that in number of variables in that okay that is capital M now G is the G is the total number of equations okay we are we are going to solve some examples we'll do that so G is total number of equations now the rule is if G minus 1 is greater than the difference between k and m then that particular equation is unidentified okay particular equation is unidentified next is if g minus 1 equal to k minus m that that particular equation is just identified or is just or exactly identified. Next is if G minus 1 is less than K minus M, then that particular equation is over identified means you will be having multiple solutions for that, not uniquely identified. So, over identified. Okay. Now, let's have some examples. Just remember these rules. We'll be doing them. Now, first equation. We are having total number of, total number G is equal to total number of equations. Here, total number of equation is 3. How? This is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So, total number of equations is 3. Now, what about K? That is the total number of variables in the model. So, it includes the predetermined variables as well as the endogenous variable. So, let's count them. K, so, Y1 is there. Then, Y2 is there. Then y3 is there, x1, x2, right? x1, x2. Now y2 here, the y3 you have written, y1 written, x2 is also written. y3 written, x1 written, x2 written, x3, right? So it means k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, what about m? Let's first take the equation number 1, okay? This one, equation number one, how many variables are there? Okay, 
now here we are having y1 y2 y3 x1 x2 so we are having five right one two three four five so m is equal to five now g minus one g is equal to three so three minus one equal to two and what about k minus m k minus m is six minus five right six minus five for equation one we are talking about so that means two is greater than one so that means it is what is the rule if it is greater than this then particular equation is unidentified okay the one equation is unidentified similarly for y2 let's understand this y2 so we already have our k k equal to six but for y2 the m will be one two three four right so it will be k is six already given m is equal to one two three four now we are having g minus one which is equal to two that will be equal to k minus m which is six minus four so it is exactly identified right equation two is exactly identified number three in case of number three you are having one two three four so m is equal to four in case of equation three k is already we know that is six so the answer will be equation three is exactly or just identified okay similarly we are having three different examples here here in this equation k is equal to qt pt and qt and pt right here is pt qt same so you are having k equal to 2 what about m if it, we are talking about the equation 1 here that is the demand equation what is happening here in this example m is equal to 2 right g is equal to 2 so now 2 minus 1 that is g minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 which is 0 right so that is 1 is greater than 0 so this is unidentified okay next question here the k is 1 2 3 k is equal to 3 right qt is there pt is there it is there here pt is there qt is there so k equal to 3 now what about m m for this equation first equation is 1 2 3 m is also 3 now now g g is 2 so 2 minus 1 is greater than 0 which is k minus m so equation 1 is unidentified just like the previous one what about the uh, second one let's understand this second equation here so for the second equation m will be here m will be equal to 2 right now m is equal to 2 so here it is going to be unidentified also because 2 minus 1 is greater than 2 which is k and m equal to 2 so it is also unidentified that is supply equation in example 1 is all unidentified so both are unidentified what about example 2 in case of example 2 the m is equal to 2 now we are having 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 minus 2 in case of equation 2 and we know that it is 1 is equal to 1 so it means equation 2 that is the supply equation in example 2 is just identified okay similarly in this example 3 you are having k k is total of 1 2 3 4 okay k is equal to 4 now m 
in equation one equation one we're talking about so it is a one two three uh, equation one is three and g is equal to two so two minus one is equal to three my sorry four minus three so it is one equal to one so supply demand equation is just identified demand equation is just identified what about the equation number two in this case in the example three the m in equation two or supply equation example three is one two three so m equal to three so you will get similar results so that is two minus one will be equal to four minus three so your supply both the demands and the supply equation in the example three are just identified both of them okay so th that is how you use the order condition in the next video we we'll learn about the rank condition also that's it